Verizon and Motorola announced their new Droid Ultra lineup. Nokia also launches the Lumia 625 as their big thing, and LG trademarks hint to tablets and smartwatches. I'm Jaime Rivera, and with so many smartwatches being rumored out there, can somebody please just announce one? This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some interesting product announcements. Motorola and Verizon have unwrapped their new Droid Ultra lineup, and it's really interesting because, first of all, they run a new X8 processor, and I said they because the three phones, the Droid Ultra, the Max, and the Mini run the same specifications, pretty much. The obvious is not there. Obviously, the Mini has a smaller display, a smaller battery, but in everything else, they have the same RAM, the same storage, pretty much the same everything, and it's really interesting. I mean, this is the first time that a company figures out how to bring out a mini phone with high-end specifications. So links in the description for full specs, prices, and everything, and obviously launch dates. Nokia has also unwrapped their big thing as being the Nokia Lumia 625, as we expected. You know, this is the biggest Lumia ever, but not necessarily the best one. It doesn't have the best specifications, but it does have a very affordable price tag. So we're still trying to figure out which market this caters to at 4.7 inches. But anyways, links in the description for full details and full price points. Now let's move over to LG as the company has now trademarked new names in South Korea that link to the fact that they're probably working on a smartwatch and a tablet. They've trademarked the words G-Pad, G-Watch, G-Glass, G-Hub, G-Connect, and G just about everything. I wonder what happens when all these products become OGs uh, eventually. But anyways, obviously these are just trademark names. No products just yet, or at least nothing that we know of, but we'll keep you posted. Now let's move over to HTC as we've got some more reports that come from a very trusted source that say that apparently the HTC T6 aka One Max is going to AT&T, hopefully not exclusively, but it will be. And apparently that HTC Zara that we talked about yesterday will be a mashup between the HTC One and the Desire lineup, meaning it's going to be a very pretty phone that'll probably have some high-end specs but made out of plastic, and it's going to Sprint, so um, stay tuned to see how that turns out, because most probably it will happen. And finally, for the hot news of the day, we've got Google's Breakfast with Sundar Pichai happening tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific Time, which would be noon Eastern Standard Time. We will be covering everything live at our Pocket Now Live Hangout, where obviously we'll be discussing everything as it's being announced during the event. And well, you know, there's a lot here at the table, a lot of products that could be announced that could probably not be announced. So that leads me to the question of the day. What are your predictions for the event that's happening tomorrow? I mean, we've talked about the Nexus 7, we've talked about Android 4.3. These are the obvious ones, but we do believe that Android 5.0 might be announced since iOS 7 is already a reality. So leave us a comment down below. What are your predictions? And please join us tomorrow at the Hangout. Of course, as always, for an earlier scope of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow at our live hangout of everything that's happening at the Google Breakfast.